Hello Commanders and welcome in Miliodas Gaming in a new Conflict of Nations series. After the successful series with the Mother Russia and the amazing Solowin, today we are going to try a new task, a new challenge, a lot of fun and a lot of wars with the Greater Serbia. So today I started a game with Serbia in a Rising Tides map. First I will explain this map. In the future, Due to the global warming, the levels of the sea have been rising so much, which have changed the shape of the earth. A lot of uh, islands have been vanished, a lot of earth have been eaten by the sea. So today we will try to make all the world kneel under the feet of the greater Serbia. This challenge is going to be so hard because you see, in the Rising Tides game the resources are very low. Also, I have only 5 cities with Serbia, and also, I am surrounded by a lot of enemies. I have Romania, I have New Yugoslavia on my east, I have on my south um, Greece, I have also on my north uh, Hungary, and also everyone is close to me, such as Poland, Austria, Ukraine, uh, also Italy, also uh, Turkey. The position of Serbia is very hard, in the middle of Europe which makes this task and this challenge would be very very hard to achieve it in solo gameplay without the coalition only uh, by myself in this war so wish me luck and let's go on so the first tasks here we will uh, commence with the army bases and the barracks in all of our cities later on we will start with the recruiting offices and the level one Infantries. Not like the apocalypse that all the researches are open from day one, in the rising tides you have to wait. So I will not be able to make uh, max level uh, infantry so fast in the game, so I need to be careful, this is going to be a slow process and of course um, I need to be patient because I will expect a lot of attacks very soon, so I need to be in a defensive position with the level 1 infantry here and more important than that I need to intercept any attacks and I need to read my enemies from where they can attack me Serbia I have 5 cities, 2 of them are coastal and this is the Rising Tides map and also the Rising Tides map has, is composed by a lot of victory sites every victory site worth 500 points also there are the domes the, the domes are composed of 60 points, I guess, per one uh, dome. So I have assembled my infantry in my capital, Belgrad and Novi Sad. These two cities are coastal, so if anyone is going to think about attacking me, he will come by the sea or he will think about the capital. So I will keep my two cities uh, fortified with defensive uh, motorized infantry. I am 100% sure that today in day one, no one will have level two infantry only level 1 infantry because they are not unlocked yet. So I am going to consider this in my mind and I'm going to use it in my favor because you know the motorized infantry is in level 1 they are very advantageous in defensive position and especially in the cities because they will benefit of uh, the defense bonus of cities. So let's go now and start the action. Hungary has declared war on us and he is going to Novi Sad. My prediction that putting a heavy stack there in Novi Sad was correct because I really anticipated that if Hungary is going to think about attacking me, he will enter from Novi Sad. That's why I put there a very heavy stack. And the other one in the capital, I'm going to send it to Budapest, the Hungarian capital. Taking down his capital will cripple his morale, will cripple his resources, of course, and I will have always the upper hand in this war. The bad thing here is that can a lot of nations can attack you at the same time, which is going to be very bad for us. But I will try to play it smart, I will not be very greedy here, I will attack but uh, with a lot of uh, care. And I hope I would not stab in the back because you know here my cities in the south are not protected. So I will see. So my war has advanced and the capital Budapest is mine now and my infantry in the three cities of Nish and um, the other ones are ready. I'm going to send them to the front. The capital Budapest have fallen as I said. My Novi Sad has, it didn't fall. My defensive uh, units has been robust and very strong and they defend it till the last breath. And now it's the time for the offensive. 
I'm not going to stay in the defense so much. So yeah, I need to move and take his cities and prevent him from making any more units in the future. The good thing that he also declared war on New Yugoslavia at the same time, which also going to make New Yugoslavia busy with um, Hungary, which is I don't think that New York Slavia will think about attacking me because he have a problem there and he already lost a homeland city by Hungary. Here I am going to boost up my arms industries, I need the resources, also in Novi Sad I'm going to start with the level 2 naval base, I'm going to need to build some navy now, I will start with the corvette. You can see in the top of the screen the struggle of the resources, only 36 per hour supplies. It's, it's a disaster, it's like a nightmare. The resources here are a nightmare to be honest and you need to be so patient to be able to make something, to be able to build buildings, to be able to mobilize units. I recently I had a lot of comments asking me how to manage your resources. You just need to follow this series to see me manage my resources. Another surprise now, Ukraine has declared war on us at the same time, but unfortunately he took my city of Novi Sad. He crossed all over Romania to come to me, to come to my city of Novi Sad. This is so bad, I only have one city of components and now I lost it, but no problem. I will make him pay for it, I will make him regret this action. Now I am going a straight offensive to, this, uh, to the capital Kiev. After I took the Hungarian capital Budapest, now the second capital which is going to fall now, I am going straight to Kiev. More infantry I'm gonna need now, level 1 infantry, at least to cover my back and keep some units there in defense. You see now my two stacks are charging directly to the capital, the Ukrainian capital Kiev. I'm going to patrol Novi Sad and see if there are still Ukrainian units there. So it is my city of Novi Sad is liberated and Kiev has fallen. We are only in day 5 and now we managed to take down two capitals. Two nations have attacked us at the same time and we took down two capitals. Yes, this is a successful start, yet it is so speedy and so heated, but when we see that our capital is safe, our cities are safe and Novi Sad has been taken back and we literally destroyed our opponent, then we can consider this start is successful. That's the dome, uh, the complex I was speaking about. Those complexes have good resources and also uh, good uh, victory points. See here Ukraine, he went on a rampage, he took down like attacked Romania, attacked Russia, attacked me, he literally attacked everyone around him, also he went for Belarus, this is crazy. Now I can start mobilizing my corvette, I need to secure my coastal cities now because I have a threat from Romania, so I need to keep at least one corvette in front of my capital, uh, Belgrade. Now let's go and have a look here in these cities, Hungarian cities, is there any units? If there is no units there, I will send my infantry to claim those lands. If there are still units, I need to be careful and wait a little bit because I only have level 1 infantry, which is not going to be so efficient against other infantry in cities. I'm going to be beaten so hard. Finally, I can unlock level 2 infantry. We are in day 5. Now I'm going to advance to more and more Ukrainian homeland cities after I took down Odessa and Kiev. I will go to Donetsk and Kharkiv, also Poltava. I, have, I hope no more surprises now because I will need to regenerate a little bit and gather some resources to build at least some air force and some corvettes. This place is so dangerous. Playing with Serbia is surrounded by a lot of enemies, which makes a lot of nations will be thinking about attacking you and taking you down. And yes, Romania has decided to attack me, but hopefully and luckily my corvette has been ready before he comes to my capital. So my interception for this attack was very smart and very good because I really said that 
building a corvette will be so important to cover my capital from the Romanian sudden attacks and yes, I literally read the mind of Romania. Now his um, land forces are trapped in front of my capital um, Belgrade by my corvette and it's going to be falling soon. As usual, the third nation now and let's go to the capital Bucharest. I'm going to retreat for now from Ukraine because Ukraine is dead. I literally destroyed him and left his cities for rogue state. Now I need to finish off once and for all um, Romania and take down his capital Bucharest and as usual triple his economy and prevent him from making more and more units. This is my city of Novi Sad. Now let's build again the naval base level 2. After my first naval base level 2 was ready, Ukraine has taken down the city. Now I will build it again. I need at least two coastal cities that can produce a um, navy. And Bucharest has fallen, baby! This is the third capital that falls by the Serbian forces in only day 8 of the game. The Serbian forces are amazing and now they are taking down all of their neighbors. Just a hint guys, like in every series and every videos we don't use gold, we don't have security council membership so my ships don't really attack automatically so uh, I'm just playing like any other players playing no gold, no other uh, usage of uh, any benefits or something, nope. So here to show you the actual gameplay of the game, how to play, because winning solo or playing solo is not impossible. You can win solo, yes, but you only have, you need to have a good thinking, a good logic and big brains because you need to intercept your enemy's attacks from all the sides. At the same time, you need to really know how to move your troops, how to mobilize them, how to follow your strategy and more important than that, how to manage your resources. Here you see that I am focusing on my infantries first because the infantries here are very important to take lands. I need the resources. At the same time, I'm building my arms industries. You know the arms industries are very important to boost up your resources here. And I know that now my production of components and uh, supplies is very low and it's very bad, but I need to follow a strategy that can uh, prevent me from uh, spending a lot of resources. You only need to follow this series, like our video, subscribe to our channel so you can have all the upcoming episodes of this series The Greater Serbia and you will understand how I will manage my resources and in every episode I will speak about the details how I am going to boost up my resources production and how I am going to follow my uh, uh, strategy of military and mobilizing of my troops because mobilizing your troops and choosing the right strategy to follow is very important and it's very it's have a direct relationship with managing your resources you understand so if you have let's say bad components production don't build navy and air force and all the units that uh, need components you need to change other support uh, units that consume supplies if you have bad supplies production go to the components one you understand like that you can have um, a balanced resources production so this is the map this is the rising tides map i seriously love this mode of the game because the rising tides map is very creative how did they really change the world map the earth uh, due to the global warming due to the ice melting from the polar side and it's really really so creative and well studied i really like it so here there is still a Romanian stack there near Cluj. I'm gonna need air force to take that down. I'm not going to send infantry for it. And it's in the middle of the sea, uh, in the land. I can't send corvettes to take it down. So yeah, I will think about making air force shortly. Because here, if you focus on my resources, I don't have supplies. But I have a good amount of components. So yeah, I can use them to make um, air force for now. I have the corvettes and infantries and they all consume supplies. So yeah, I can balance my resources production by making some strike fighters. 
I am still under the process now of cleaning all of these lands. Uh, after I clean these lands, I am going to have better resources production for sure because I'm going to claim three nations. Um, Hungary, Romania and Ukraine. The city of Constanta has been totally destroyed by my corvette and now I'm going to take it. It's an electronic city which is very important in the future to be able to make ships, air force, uh, support vehicles. So yes, electronics is the most important resource in the game because everything practically consume electronics except mobile on tier and infantries. Let's clean this mess and unite all the Balkans under the reign of the greater Serbia. So later on I have new Yugoslavia on my right. If I take successfully new Yugoslavia in the future that would make all the Balkans united which is very good and I would be so happy to do it, to unite all the Balkans nations under one flag, under one big flag. So this is New Yugoslavia. I have also on my uh, south, Turkey and Greece. On my north now I have borders with Poland and also uh, Austria is close to me. After I finish Ukraine, I will have Belarus on my borders too, so yes, things are just going to be more and more complicated in the upcoming days because um, I will be having a lot of enemies on my borders and everyone is going to see me growing big in this game and they will see that I'm going to play solo and I don't have a coalition that can back me up, so yeah, they will think about taking me down before I grow bigger and bigger. I have one problem here, these two Romanian stacks need to fall ASAP. So as I said, now I start the level 2 airbase, but I don't have the supplies for the research of the strikers. And in the market there is no more supplies, so I will just wait. I will build the level 2 airbase and I will build also another airbase there, level 1. Later on I will level it to level 2 and I will start making it strikers. Because as I said earlier, maxing up your infantries will will take a lot of time here because I will wait for the days until it can be unlocked. So here, strikers, they will help me a lot to take down other units and other infantries in the map. So that's how I thought to make strike fighters. So this is all the map. Now Serbia is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, let's have a look here in the uh, table. Venezuela is first. I didn't even make it to the top 10 because there are a lot of other nations. They are advancing fast in the game, including Germany, uh, Venezuela. 100% they took some uh, complexes and also victory sites, which boosted up their uh, victory points there and made them the leaders of the table but don't worry i promise you guys i will do my best to make serbia one of the top 10 in the table and we will grow fast before even you know it so here in this episode the first episode of the serbian empire we took down hungary romania and Ukraine. It's only now remaining a process of claiming the lands and cities and um, uh, taking down the rogue states there in the Ukrainian cities. And in the next episode, we will think about our next enemy. Of course, in the comment section, you can give me your ideas, your opinion. What should I make my next move? What should I do? Should I go for new Yugoslavia? Should I finish Greece? Should I go to the north and take down Poland because Poland is active and now he is taking down uh, Austria. He will get bigger and bigger by the time. So I will read your commands attentively and I will wait for your uh, tips and tricks. Uh, how, what I need to do in the next step. I stay in defense and wait for the next attack like I did with these three nations or I will be the first to attack. So 
I'm waiting for your commands. Also, you can join our Discord server to uh, contact me and DM me there if you have any question or you have any doubt. And of course, if you want good players to play with in Conflict of Nations, just visit our Discord server and you will find the link in the description. So here we are in the finish of the first episode of the Greater Serbia. See you in part two. Bye bye.